Hello, and welcome back to Hidden Gems and Other Oddities with me, Darcy Bits. We're playing Boyfriend Dungeon. Let's jump right into it. When we last left off, we had gone to a, what, like, July 4th barbecue, I guess? Oh, go away. Alright. Who do we got? We got Eric. Uh, Eric's been sending me messages, even though I've been leaving them on red. What the heck? Okay. Don't lie to me. I saw your date catastrophe. I've been there. I know how it feels to be rejected. They think they're so much better than us, but they're not. You're better than all of them. You deserve to be treated like royalty, Darcy. Please stop. It's okay, thanks, or please stop. I mean, I could continue to ignore him, which has been pretty fun so far, honestly. But, I mean, I could also tell him to stop, which I think I've done before. Let me just double check. Have I actually? Don't send me things. Don't call me that. I mean, that's a very specific thing, not like a no, don't. I guess I, I guess I could be more forward about telling him to stop. Yeah, sure. Please stop. <laughs> Sorry if I'm awkward or say too much. You're just so lovely. Well, that didn't help. What do you got to say, Sunder? Cross my heart. Oh, oh, I left him on red. It's a date. I'm all yours. Hey, thanks for coming last night. You're my favorite da dance partner. Cross my heart. You're my fave too. I have to think. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like any of these answers. It's actually really cool playing like this kind of a game, which it's not. This is a visual novel, and here is the spot, and choose one of these options. And like certainly the game does that, but so much of it's through the messages that I can just be like, no, I don't feel like replying to you, and I just don't have to. And the game will continue, even if it's just in the form of them being like, hey, are hey you there? Uh, I imagine I'll have to choose one of these three eventually. But I don't know. We'll see what else he has to say. Um, before, before we do. Uh, we also made some zines last time. We got the chemistry zine, the dragon's galore zine, which is the starting one, and sleepy time zine. A warm cup of tea in the form of a zine. So that's great. We'll have to use that next time we um, do that. And did I get any new clothes? Not really. I got this leather jacket, which I didn't actually end up liking, unfortunately. And I got the sweet hat, which actually has stats. <laughs> Enemies get stunned when they damage you. Which, like, alright, I'm not going to say no to stats. <clears throat> alright. So, anything on the map that needs addressing? I don't think so. I think I can just head off to the dungeon. I guess I could reply to uh, Sunder if I really felt like it. Oh! Oh, hello! Who's this? Is this Jonah? We met Jonah last time. You arrived just as a hearse drives away. It seems someone died. A young person stares down the street after it. What, what brought me here? Why did I decide to come here? I just saw a cool house and decided to walk up to it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Until next time, Alice. Farewell. Until next time, Alice. Farewell. Sorry for your loss. Who's Alice? Next time. Uh, hi! You don't know me and I don't know you. Let me get involved in your life. Who's Alice? Don't talk about her. You didn't know her. Don't talk about her. You didn't know her. Oh, it's you. Do we know each other? Hmm. Huh. Why did you come here? You know me? Just exploring the town? Can't a person walk down the street? Literally, I'm just exploring the town. And I saw that your house um, had a little icon above it. I don't know how to justify that in real life. Just exploring the town. They purse their lips, eyes dark. No, I meant Verona Beach. You're the cause of all this, you know. Okay. The monsters, the universe thrown out of balance. The 
doesn't sound true. If it weren't for you, maybe Alice would still be alive. Their shape begins to change. They get a full costume change before they turn into a scythe? That's amazing. <laughs> Maybe I should just end you and see if status quo returns. They seem serious. This seems like an important decision. Your life is on the line. Wait, don't please. Back off, I'm warning you. Just do it then. <laughs> just do it then. Bring it on, sad boy. Enticing temptation. Almost sexual. Don't say that to me. The scythe gleams hungrily at you, at your urging, as if wetted. There's a moment of silence as a breeze passes between you. <sighs> Fine. I can't just kill a random person I just met. I guess. Even you. Pretty human. Thanks, bird. Hush. Uncertainty passes over their features. So, why... why did you come to Verona Beach? I don't have to tell you anything. You should apologize. Who even are you? <laughs> hey, who even are you? I'm Rowan. My threat wasn't personal, I assure you. It sounded pretty personal. But, I suppose I would also feel angry in your situation. Though I hadn't expected you to respond the way you did. I must remember that you are unpredictable, perhaps more dangerous than I thought. Okay. Oh well. The reason you came to Verona Beach doesn't particularly matter. My grandmother is gone either way. Hmm. And you're here now. We'll have to survive somehow, in spite of your chaos. Survive what chaos can I wield you? Let's dunge! Yeah, that's that does not seem appropriate. Um What chaos? You know, dungeons everywhere, creatures running amok. I haven't noticed that. Someone's violating the laws of nature. There's a wrongness, rippling. You've been seeing weapons damaged, haven't you? It's a pattern of evil intent. Only a witch of very high caliber can hope to make things right again. Okay. And I should get back to it. That's what Alice would have wanted. Are you a witch? They don't acknowledge your question and turn away. Goodbye. Goodbye. They disappear into the house, leaving you alone on the street. Okay. Alright, I was waiting in case someone wanted to call me. I'm gonna head back out again. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. Jonah said that he'd commonly at the beach, actually, so... If there was a place, that would probably have been it. But, seems like no. Interesting. So again, the game... <clears throat> I feel like the game really tried to indicate to us that... Dungeons are kind of a normal thing, like, like apparently our, like, I don't know if I was just being cocky and be like, it runs in the family, I come from a line of people who do this, or whether or not that was a real thing. Yeah, this game confuses me. Let's go to the dungeon. Oh, uh, let's see. Everyone's about the same. Let's get some, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's see, you, you have the lowest. Which floor would you like to get to? Five. Going down. I mean, there's one dunge, and I haven't seen any creatures run amok, so I'm curious what they mean. Ugh, I hate malls. Battle your fears. Oh, I can just keep redoing this boss. That's cool. I didn't really think about that, but yeah, that makes sense. That only works against, um, minions. Oh yeah, sleepy time zine! I bet this also only works against minions. But I'm gonna try it. Oh, that's different from what I was expecting. 
feels good. Alright, anyway. Ooh, check it out on your workbench. I found a cap. Nice. And I assume this is also... Yeah. Alright, cool. Doubt I'm gonna ever come back here and pick that up, but you know, just in case. Cool, so I've done... I've, like, uh, I've continued from floor 5 before, and it's not occurred to me to redo that loss. That's really interesting, actually. Oh, interesting. Seems like a pretty good scene. Yeah. Alright. Some sugar. Well, I'm right here. I might as well. I kind of accidentally drank that drink. That'll do. There's a question mark over here? Hmm. It just doesn't disappear from the main map. It's weird. Yeah, that's definitely slower than running. Okay. Heck yeah! My sprite's actually pretty cute. Here, it almost looks like a normal wall for, one, mall for once. Hmm, ice cream. Want some? It'll be my treat. Vanilla, Africa, gelato, chaco fudge. Ooh, I've had the same I've had the same scene with, um... Uh, what's his name? Ian? Is that right? Wow, I'm sorry. Um, and I said vanilla, and he was like, you should not be afraid of flavor. I'm like, I just like vanilla. Mm-hmm. Classic. Makes me want to put some sauce on it. Okay, fair enough. Mm, tastes like summer. Or at least the idea of summer. Summer here in Burnham Beach is a bit too much. If we were outside, we could probably- <laughs> this would probably melt before we could even eat it. Hmm. Where, where would your ideal summer vacation be? You finish your ice creams, debating the best place to spend a summer. Would you like to offer a gift? No. You decide not to give a gift right now. Guess we gotta get back to work. I can feel a sugar rush coming on. So, I... I always realize I have no idea what her voice sounds like. And, uh, I guess I just gotta pick something and commit. Probably a better idea than agonizing over it. So, yeah, I think that voice works fine. Oh. Haha! -ha, trash cans! Nice. Getting some supplies. There's actually a bunch of stuff that I want to um, craft now that I think about it. Ooh, it's over here. Into the lid sack. Anime t-shirt recipe! <laughs> Alright. Nice, fine. A uh, pizza recipe! I can just make my own pizza on a workbench. Out of plastic. I don't know if that's true. I guess we'll have to find out what the ingredients are. long this day asleep for? Oh, pretty long time, but not forever. Have to heal. Okay. Not bad. I do like crowd control abilities. It's like extra long stun, but you can't attack them. Yeah. Another day, another victory. <laughs> It's 20 bucks? Yeah, I'm a little late on cash. I bought a whole bunch of crafting supplies the other day. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep weapons. Keep with Valeria. Wait a minute, are you in? Huh, okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Gotta stab that bag open. It's important. What's this flag? Okay. Uh, 
weird. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's where we came down in? Okay, that makes sense. Gotta get all the supplies possible. Ooh, another hangout spot. Here, it almost looks like an old mall for once. Alright. I never got, never quite got the hang of ice skating. Um... It's fun, don't get me wrong, I just I fall down a lot. Hope you're ready. Hang on to the sides, hang on to me. I mean, how good am I at ice skating? Don't, don't hang on to me, I'll, I'll we'll both fall probably. I'll say hang on to me. Huh? Are you sure? I had to bring you down with me, but here it goes. She clings to your elbow, carefully putting one skate in front of the other. Faster. <laughs> Eek! Wait, how do I stop? She slips and stumbles, but you help her regain her balance. <laughs> Valeria beams, excitement flushing her cheeks. Eventually, you take off the skates. Would you like to offer a gift? Nah. You decide not to give a gift for now. Thanks. Thanks. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> sleepy time! I think I, I do like the sleepy time zine the best so far of all the zines that we've, we've made. I can say that confidently. Haha, <laughs> now the fun part. Looks so good. It's nice that the combat's not too punishing. Like, I'm not. I'm not really thinking of this as like a high, you know, combat difficulty game. So I'm not, you know, making it out to be either. But I am hurting. Never went down. Oh. oh, that's a challenge room. I can't do that. No, it wasn't so bad when it's with you. Gourmet cupcake recipe. Alright. Is there any. You start on your own, I'm gonna be upset. Okay. Yeah, I guess I could just, like, die here. That's not so bad. I'd be kind of okay with that. Nah, I'll just head down to the next floor. I'm not sure how deep I've actually been now that I think about it. Oh, this, I missed my turn. Okay, so remember to use your zanes. Yeah, yeah. Keep it up, Valeria. I don't know how the swapping's supposed to work. Eh, I mean, it's a game thing. Oh, I can go up if I want to. Do I get more if I choose to leave early instead of dying? Like, the game's really implied to me that I can just die without worrying. Maybe that's not correct? I don't know. Did I stun them? Interesting. I should do that more often, that seems great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I should be doing that way. That's great. Uh, do I want to clear this level before I go check that out? Mm, yeah, let's see if I can get some more money before I go. Not doing that. Lucky find, yeah. I have to heal. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, yeah. Alright. Oh, dang it. Just 
bumped right into them. Thought I'd put them to sleep, I could get through, but. Still hurts to run into them, it turns out. Not bad, though. Wielder level 10! Cool. Did I get to level 3? I did not get to level 3 with Valeria, though. It's a shame. Oh, you find a scrap of paper has been slipped into your window from outside. Seven, four, uh, that's not a four, what is that? Huh. Oh, I see. They're, they're alternating, right. So it's two, four, zero. They're not alternating. It's arbitrary, got it. <laughs> Paper is thick and strong as if torn from an old book. It has a series of numbers and markings on it. Some are upside down. GPS coordinates, IP address, rotation cipher, to a decimal number. I mean, I assume it's like a phone number, but I guess there is a bit too many, isn't there? I don't think it matters which one of these I choose. It's arbitrary. <laughs> rotation cipher? You try matching the most common numbers to common letters and then working backwards. You work at it for a while, but either there's not enough vowels or too many Z's and V Z's and Y's. Or I guess Z's if we're in Verona Beach, right? You study it for a while, but aren't sure how useful the information how to use this information helpfully. You set the puzzle aside for now, itching for a more physical challenge. Looks like another day. Looks like another beautiful California day outside. Oh, I don't think that transition was necessary, but okay. I'm gonna go to my crafting bench. What have we got? We got some new stuff. We have cap recipe, which is pretty easy. Pepperoni pizza. I can make pizza out of four lumps of sugar and a wire. I'm a genius. Uh, red rose. Okay, it's a gift. Anime t-shirt. We have to craft the anime t-shirt. It's very important. I need to know what's on the t-shirt that I drew, I guess. That's a pretty good t-shirt. Check it out in the mirror. Yay! Uh, what else do we have? I wonder if I can repeat some of these, right? Like, the gift ones, I wonder if they're one times or if I can repeat them. Because um, I don't think they're going to let me, like... Oh, yeah! I need to get the fashion zine. Very important. Fried mackerel. Craft... Yeah, like, I can't craft this again. Which is interesting. Like, you wouldn't really expect that for the, uh, the gifts. This one has... Alright, so all these ones I can make. This one I need stuff. These ones I've crafted, you can see at the bottom here. Very cool. Um, I wonder if I should be doing more gift stuff. I don't know. I'll make the cap. You made a cap! Should we check it in the mirror? Yay! Yay! Alright, we want to get the fashion scene. Which is going to be pretty expensive if I just try and buy it. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I can do that. Uh, new cap. Exit shows on the minimap. Goes in your head. Probably. Cool. Hey, little Prince Dystopia. How you doing? Love the fur. Love the fit. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, and did I also get... I got a new shirt. Yeah. Maybe Senpai will notice me. <laughs> Well, we have to wear it for at least a little bit. Definitely. What is on the phone today? Oh, hey, it's mom. No, scroll up. Scroll. Come on. Scroll. Scroll. Scroll up. What? Why, why are you doing this to me? What? Oh, that works. Okay, I can. I can. I can just. Was sort of them. Jesse tells me you have a very attractive friend. I don't want to pry, but is it uh, serious? I don't know yet. We're eloping. Just friends, mom. <laughs> We're eloping. No, just friends, mom. I don't know why I had an exclamation mark. Well, be careful, Darcy. Make sure they know what to expect. Don't go around breaking hearts. I raise you better than that. Remember, live by the sword, die by the sword. Which I guess is saying... Which I guess is a saying about marriage. Anyway, have a good day, sweetie. Okay. Interesting. 
I don't think I'm leading anyone. If I am, I am extremely oblivious to my own actions. So we've met some new folk, but we don't have them available to, like, go dungeon diving with. Which makes me wonder um, how to do that. Anything else back here? I don't think so. Nah, it just ends. Okay, so... Hmm... I guess I just probably just need to keep going at the dungeon. Is the cutting edge again? Oh yeah, the gym. Let's me change the, um... With how they work. Let me take a look at the... Athleisure store. I can buy some crafting supplies here. So fabric is five dollars each. I need like five of them, so that's twenty-five bucks. And then I need glue, which is ten dollars each. I need two of that. So I'm gonna need forty-five dollars if I want to just buy that fashion scene. Okay, I'll need more money. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm not sure. You know, actually, I have a message from Sunder I've been ignoring. Maybe I should... Maybe if I answer that, that'll advance the plot. Um... Okay, so where did we leave this guy off? Want to go to the club? We went to the club. He got a bit weird at the club. Accusing me of getting weird at the club. It was weird. Hey, thanks for coming last night. You're my favorite dance partner. Cross my heart. I don't like these answers. Uh, I'm gonna say I have to think. It's clearly I didn't. I left him with head. Okay. No worries. Let's dump some more in the meantime. Cool. I should have said that sooner, probably. Uh, question is, do I actually want to do that? Uh, Valerie is almost at three, and I just kind of want to see what happens when I get someone to three. So let's let's actually go with Valeria first. Oh, I can start at seven now. Cool. Going down. Um, so, I imagine that, uh... Verona Mall has seen better days, huh? Verona Mall has seen better days, huh? Get get better in his voice. You always say that. I do always say that, you're right. Ah. I'm getting messed up. Great. Uh, anyway, if we... Ooh, hello. I have $35. I bet I could buy something good for five. Yeah, alright. We will take a look at that after I've done clearing this floor. That will take us to a secret shop, which last time I went there I couldn't afford anything. Does everyone get stunned when they hit them with heavies, or is that like a special- did I upgrade salary into that? But it's nice! Oh yeah, I should use my zines. Finally, a monster free zone. Oh, is there one? Alright. Ooh, this is nice. Hmm. Hmm. Reminiscent of- Stylin, but even more poppy and mainstream. Probably just a lazy knockoff. But it's possible the artist is knowingly commenting on the commercial placement. It'd be nice if it were... It'd be nice if the piece were both pretty and honest. They're both important components, wouldn't you say? In, um, art, of course. I prefer beauty. I prefer honesty. Both are essential. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just agreeing with me, coward. You and me, we're doomed if you're a liar, even just as friends. I guess we'll find out sooner or later, huh? I enjoyed that response. That's how a lot of visual novels feel. So you just say the thing that people want to hear. 
And that's no, that's no way to actually simulate relationships. <laughs> saying something and I got distracted. Oh, um, when I when I head down the stairs, I'll probably swap out uh, to someone else. Oh! Oh dang, I died already. That is my mistake. I was not paying enough attention. But, I was able to max out Valerie's rank, which is the point. Simon says in chat, excuse me, that's how I interact with people. Only tell them what they want to hear. Yeah, of course. <laughs> How'd you know that's what I wanted to hear, Simon? Um, alright. <laughs> alright, we're to level 11. I'm an apprentice. 11 is apprentice? Wow, I've not noticed that there were names. Maybe each level doesn't have its own name. Maybe there's like a bunch of apprentice levels. I don't know. I completely had not noticed that this whole time. I got extra HP. And... We can see if we can hang out. With Valeria, outside of the dungeon. Your eyes happen on the weird slip of paper from the other day. You wonder if maybe it's somehow a phone number. It could be. I mean, that was my first thought, but okay. You pull out your phone, enter a... Oh, dang, they're actually going to make me do this? That's awesome. I mean... <clears throat> it's a pretty long phone number if it's just a phone number. These are my only options, which is interesting. Because I feel like there's two obvious options, which is either two or seven. And seven's not available. Just so. Well, let's just see what happens if we do it straightforward. Two. Four is not there. What? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> cool. Where where am I choosing these four numbers from? Alright. Five. Nope. It's like, if I have an idea of how this might work, and I go for it, the next option that I was going to do isn't necessarily on the list. That's really funny. Okay. So I think I'm already wrong, considering what I was planning on doing from there isn't available. Uh, let's say five. You try a theory. After entering seven digits, it rings. Hello? Uh, I solved your riddle! You have the wrong number, I guess. They hang up on you. You decide to try again tomorrow. Interesting, so it's actually a puzzle. That's cool. I, I legit didn't expect it to be a puzzle, so that's a little surprising. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Valeria is going to send us a message. Nice. Figured she would. Valeria says, Am I meeting me again? I'll explain some things. Please? Sure. Here's a hint for where to find me. Thanks. Interesting way of doing that, but sure. I don't know, for some reason, like, the, the conversations with Valerie always feel so much more casual than all the others. All the others are very charged. And she's just like, hey, <laughs> you want to hang out? And I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's not like, you're my favorite dancer. All right, let's go to the park. <laughs> Valeria is sitting at a, on a park bench, glaring at the nearby ducks. Her expression softens as she sees you. Hey. Oh, hey. You came. I'm, re I'm really glad. I wasn't sure if you would, after how things ended. I, I asked you to go home with me for all the wrong reasons. But I don't regret our time together. Not one bit. Um... I wish I had been... I don't know. You seemed angry. Wrong reasons? Um... <clears throat> yeah. No, I... I didn't realize that's what was... You were asking when I said yes? Uh, you seemed angry. I was. Not you. I, I can explain, but... 
sound of loud cracking interrupts her. Ugh. Shut up, ducks! Can't you, can you believe that noise? I hope you're not one of those people that feeds ducks at parks. I am, actually. I'm not. I hate ducks! <laughs> yeah, I hate ducks. No. Uh, um, I'm not. I mean, I would. I just don't. I mean, also, they apparently they're not supposed to have bread for some reason. I'd have to look into that if I ever considered it. I'm not. Good. I hate their beady little eyes. And don't get me started on those snapping bills. A friend of mine lost a finger to a duck. Got too close to a piece of bread and then... Valeria snaps her finger. That didn't... that wasn't very loud. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Just like that. Oh wait, no, she snaps her fingers. Like... I see. Okay. That's not what I... I, th I thought it was like, like, like... Cracking your knuckles. <laughs> I misunderstood. Is that true? That's scary. <sighs> Valeria's lips twist into a rueful grimace and she sighs. Okay. I may be exaggerated, but only a little. Um... And, um, promise not to laugh? It didn't happen to a friend. It was me. Valeria holds up a hand, showing you a faint scar on her index finger. It's only a scratch. Well, that's what it looks like now. But at the time, guys were so blood. Fountains. <laughs> it was a crime scene. You could even say it was a foul deed. She looks mortified and groans out loud. Um... Uh, let's just pretend I never said that, okay? Would you like to offer a gift? I don't have any gifts. <laughs> no thanks. You decide not to give a gift right now. I guess it feels okay to be... I guess it feels okay to be silly around you. I feel like I can be myself. Surprise! I'm a huge dork. I like it. <laughs> Good. Because it's not likely to change anytime soon. And I hate pretending to be something I'm not. Next time, we'll go on a date without the risk of the duck. Love rank 3! What do we got? Backstab. Attacks do critical damage to confused enemies. Oh, cool. Nice. Huh? But we were talking about something actually important before. Right. I remember. I was going to awkwardly explain Jake. You don't have to. It's your business. I'm listening. Oh, uh, you don't have to. Uh-uh. No, but I want to. So that guy, right? He keeps showing up. His name's Jake. I dated him a couple of years. I dated him for a couple of years. Um... And, um, dated his sister as well. At the same time. I mean, they both knew. <laughs> Dual wielding. <laughs> you did siblings, how did that work? I barely did anyone. How did that work? Like any other relationship, only with more talking and negotiating and mistakes. We were happy for a while. I was young and in love and I thought we'd be together forever. Jake and Jessica and me, three artists against the world. We were everything to do with each other. We had the same goals, believed in the same things. And then what? Greed. Pride, ambition, got in the way, as they usually do. Jessica wanted more, more recognition, more adventure, more everything. I wanted to stay the, I wanted to stay as they were, which was foolish. Nothing stays the same. I want, I moved to Verona Beach, looking for a fresh start. Jake followed me. I know you haven't been, I know you haven't had the best impression of him, but he's a good person, really. Honestly, I, I didn't get any, like, weird vibes from Jake. He seemed fine. Like, I didn't even get, like, a stalker vibe from him, weirdly. So, I don't... You argue a lot is a weird thing for me to say. I, 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 I guess they, like, went off and, like, argued and then came back, maybe? But, like, it was at most twice. And then he's in love with you, like, that is, like, completely not something that I have any purview on. Both of these answers are wrong. I mean, they might be correct, but, like, they're not appropriate for me to be saying. Um. 
He's in love with you. Hmm. Maybe a little. We were together for a long time. Is that so strange? <sighs> but I think I always love Jessica a little more. It's terrible, isn't it? it? Happens. I'm trying to make up for it now. By being a good friend. As for Jake, I don't love him anymore. Not in that way. But we still have some business together, I suppose you could say. Ugh. Look, I know Jake's been a bit of an idiot, following us around and all. I'll talk to him about it. Get him, get him to back off. For real this time. Anyway, enough about my drama. I got you a little gift. Here. You got me a beret? <laughs> Sweet, thanks Valerie. Oh, that's really nice of you. <laughs> oh, you got me a beret. Ew. I saw it in the museum gift shop and thought of you. <laughs> Thanks! You don't have to wear it, but you'll look dashing if you do, I'm sure. But you know, I'd love to show you my work sometime. Oh, you... of course! You know, my paintings, if you wanted. I don't know if you told me about this before or not. If you did, I forgot. Um, but that's very cool. Yeah, no, I'd love to. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a date. I've had... New inspiration lately. Ciao. You should read my zines. <laughs> I'm very proud of my zines. Also, I made this shirt that I'm wearing. Isn't that cool? I made it out of sugar and wires. <laughs> I don't remember who was made out of sugar and wires, but it's still very funny to me that that's, that's how you craft things in this game. I'll look forward to seeing what you think. Next time. You have a lot to think about. As you leave, the afternoon light fades into evening. Do I have a lot to think about? I feel like I just had a nice hangout. What has happened on the weird slip of paper again? You still wonder if it could be a phone number. You pull out your phone and enter it. Okay, let's figure this out. Phone number presumably is gonna be like three, 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 four, is that right? And we have more numbers than that. We've got three, four, four, four. There might be an extension, I guess? Um, it might just be the upside down numbers are, don't exist, so it's like 207, 536, 84, 7, 4? That might be right. Let's try that. 207. You enter in each number that's right side up. Hey, I figured it out. I'm a genius. Finally, I've been waiting. I solved your riddle. <laughs> it's Rowan. I, I, they did a fully voiced scene, so I didn't have to do any of his lines. They're lines. Sorry, I'm pretty sure they're uh, not binary. Um, And now, it's been long enough since those scenes that I've immediately forgotten what they sound like. It's something like that, though. It's Rowan. Come to my house when you have a moment. I have a use for you. <laughs> they hang up, <laughs> Rowan says. <laughs> Alright, cool. So is this actually going to be someone being like, Hey, I need a wielder. Take me into the dungeon. Because we haven't ever really seen that conversation. It's always just been kind of like, oh, this is kind of a thing people do. This is just kind of a thing people do. Yeah. We haven't really had the conversation of, like, I need you to wield me. And what that sounds like when someone actually talks about it. Anyway. Hey, Valeria. Bleh. 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 Before you come over, I gotta clean. I mean, it won't be clean clean, I'm not a nun. But this muffin from 2016 needs to be evicted. We'll let you know when it's, when, we'll, we'll let you know when it smell is gone too. In the meantime, I found some cool art by the mall. Did you see this? Oh, I love murals, looks cool. Ah, uh, I didn't. Should I go take a look at the mall? Ah, it looks cool, I guess. 
Maybe we can check it out together sometime. Okay, bye! <laughs> oh, right! I got a beret! Heck yeah. Enemies get stunned when they damage you. Okay, so same ability. That's good. I don't have to choose based on, uh, but uh, based on uh, uh, stats, I can choose based on looks. Red. All right, let's see. Rowan wanted to talk. Yeah, let's talk to Rowan. You find Rowan waiting outside the mansion. They give you a brief nod. Oh. I suppose you want me to invite you in for tea? Because people do that. No thanks. I like tea. Why did you send a riddle? It was just a message with multiple layers. Now let's go. I've waited long enough. I was going to go look for an herb in the mountain. On the mountain? Crowley thought it might have. Crowley thought you might want to help. The bird looks at you pointedly from Rowan's shoulder. Crowley is a crow. Pretty bird. Nice to meet you, Crowley. Pretty bird! Crowley makes a low caw, a bit like laughter. Pretty human. Pretty human. If he vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Let's get going. I don't know, herbs. I'd enjoy a hike. Yes. It's settled then. They start walking off towards the hills. You walk together along a narrow trail in silent com companionship. Here, Alice once found Laurel Sumac and Black Sage here somewhere. Um. Since the hike is over, uh, <laughs> listen, don't get any wild ideas. I need you to do something, please. Just rest here, ride in this rock. I'll be back. I'll help? I don't want to get in the way. I'll chat with Crowley. I'll wait here. Um. This feels presumptuous. This feels boring. Uh, yeah, I, I can help. No. Thanks, but no. I'll handle this. Stay put. I'm okay with staying put, but it was nice to offer, I think. They wade into the underbrush without looking back. You wait for a while. The breeze is soft and the sun is warm. But a person can only take so much breeze and sun and start to feel antsy. Explore nearby, wait patiently, gather some wildflowers. I'll wait. It's really hard to capture in a game, like, your character is getting antsy. Because I'm just like, I'm fine, I can hit next. You know, like, it's not... I'm not actually needing to wait, so it is interesting when that's like, you know, a thing. How do you, how do you, how do you convey that feeling to a player? Your eyes slide over the landscape, your mind drifting away. You startle at the sound of footsteps and realize you fell asleep. Wow, you actually waited. You must be less chaotic than I assumed. I found the Laurel Sumac, but not the Black Sage. I wonder. Would you like to offer her a gift? I don't have any black sage! You decided not to give a gift right now. <laughs> oh well. It's too late anyway. What do you wonder? Okay. I didn't see any. <laughs> I didn't see any. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like, hey! Hey, I, 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 I didn't see any either. Like, that seems like such a weird thing for me to say, but also I really want to say it. What do you wonder? I don't need to be nosy. I didn't see any. No. No, of course you didn't. I have to face this. It's just me now. Darcy, I have something important to ask you. Well, rank one. Heavy. Heavy finishers create a temporary gravity well, pulling enemies towards the center. Cool. If you were to wield me, what would be your end goal? Strength or love? I don't... What? I, I'm... What? <laughs> I mean, I guess strength? Like, I'm not gonna be like, if you're, if I was to wield you, I'd only do it to get into your pants. Like, that's not... 
I mean, I guess that's not what love means either, but still. Weird. I, I guess strength. <laughs> Seems like a weird answer. Like, I don't think it's a very positive answer. It doesn't paint me in a good light, but... Hmm. Power. The oldest temptation. Perhaps whether arcane or profane. Though, with your appetites, I wonder who would... who you would overpower. Uh, strength of mind in myself. See, I'm fighting my inner demons. They lead you down the mountain, silent of thought. At the edge of town, they pull a black rectangle from their pocket. It's probably a phone, right? Why'd you say it that way? Our dark prisms are connected. They poke their prism, and your phone vibrates. I don't know if our purpose is aligned quite, but... Call on me. Your souls need harvesting. Farewell. Farewell. For now. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm Crowley. Or Crowley. One of the two. They go on their separate ways. You head home. I feel like that conversation was missing from everyone else so far. Like, that's all everyone else needed was just like that one conversation where they're like, Hey, call me if you need to go do a thing in the dungeon. I'm, I'm, I'm down to clown. In that way. That was a weird way of me saying that. Hey, Ron. A journey has begun. We are the fool. Yep, I'm a fool. You're the fool. Next, the magician. Uh, what if I just flex on them? <laughs> Indeed. Though, I've lost my high priestess. Hey, so I'm really very sorry for how I acted when we met. I was really emotional. I took it out on you. That was wrong. Please, can you forgive me? Oh, definitely. You lost, like, your mom. Like, that's totally cool. Forgive him. Thank you. Godspeed. Godspeed. Alright. So, I do feel like... Maybe I should head into the dunge. Um... And try out the, uh... Try out Rowan. Seems like, seems like the thing to do. Rowan, the scythe. Which floor would you like to go to? Um... Eh, let's start at one. Let's do like a full run. Get in the elevator. Going down. Burn them all. Fear of change. I'll try not to disrupt your focus too much with my chatter. Thank you. Oh, that's a bit slow. Nice. Interesting. Oh. That's the heavy attack. Oh, the roll. <laughs> okay, sure. Can I break this open? No, okay. Oh, wow. I missed the, uh, Valeria's roll as extra range. <laughs> I missed that. Oh. Yeah, that's what that, uh... He does. Cool. Uh, we'll just sort of speed run these first few levels. Don't need to make sure we get everything on them. Next level. up that potion right after. Or Boba, I guess. Oh, I never did go down. Right, that's because I died on accident. Right, that makes sense. Oh well. I'm just getting more and more money. When I finally do go in there, I'll have even more to spend. It'll be fine. Oops. Okay. Um, so sight, how do I feel about this? It's kind of cool. It's got a good area of effect. Like, big long slashes. I like that. Um, certainly not as fast as, uh, dagger attacks. I don't know.
I feel like I should be chattering more. Uh, <laughs> I don't really have a lot to say. I'm just hitting things in the sight. <laughs> uh, where are we going? I should use my zines more often. Look at all these zines. All these excess zines I've got. Oh well. Oh, hey, this is the thing. We were just talking about that. Let's do it now, actually. Vending machine. Five dollars for question marks. Push the button. You feel rumbling beneath your feet. And let's go. You climb down the ladder. You climb down into the darkness. They allow humans down here now. <laughs> Thought this place was exclusive. I gotta save up my money from the dungeon. Stop getting defeated by the likes of yous. That's fair. Ah. Seems you're worthy to shop at the heart of Verona. Hmm? What can I gift wrap for you? Alright, digital camera. So we got some gifts. We got some clothes. A bomber jacket. Sweet. Um, none of this actually interests me that much. These are all more expensive than I can afford anyway. But I do love a purple jacket. Go check it out the apartment. Okay. I feel like that's just a different color for an existing jacket I have, so I'm not that excited by it, but that's fine. As you wish. Stay safe out there. Alright, well that was less interesting than it could be, but whatever. So I guess it's mostly like expensive gifts. Cool. I wonder if the intent of that is like, once you get to the point in the game where you don't really have any gifts to craft, but you have more money than you know what to do with, you can spend it here to buy like infinite gifts. I believe that. Yeah, I actually quite like the site. So I'm excited to see what the, like, it's weird. I, I really thought we would have um, a conversation with Jonah. I wanted to see what they, oh, hello. I wouldn't mind spending time here. Sure. Oh. Ugh, video games. Must they always be so loud and bright? My favorite games are soft and quiet. Tarot began as a friendly card game, you know? Are there any games here like that? I don't think so. We could make one. <sighs> Making a game would take at least 20 minutes. We don't have that kind of time. Rowan squints into a shadow, looking puzzled. Wait, maybe... Do you see that? There's something in the corner. You follow their gaze to see an unmarked arcade machine with two joysticks and a black screen. What is it? It's probably cursed. <laughs> All the better. I could use more maledictions in my diet. Here, take the left side. You both settle in and push buttons. The screen flickers and wavers, displaying only glitches. Haha, <laughs> wonderful. I guess there's hope for video games after all. Would you like to offer a gift? Nah. Shall we return to more serious matters? Did we just, like, play a screensaver? Nice. I mean, not like literally, but you know, like, sounds like we didn't do anything, we just like watched the glitches on the screen. Which is cool, I'm okay with that, that's fine. Ah! I'm not sure how to feel about the weird, like, gravity well thing. Maybe it's more relevant if I wasn't, like, killing them so fast. I don't know. Don't know. Level 5. Oh, this is the boss? Yeah. 
Oh, I should look at the different combos. I feel like I'm really having to, like, the, it's really committing to the animations, so I'm not able to roll out of the way. Kind of disappointing. It's fine. Ooh. I found vodka recipe! Great! <laughs> I can make my own vodka! Out of plastic and glass. If it's actually plastic and glass, that would be great. I kind of expected to have glass. That seems like that would make sense. In a video gamey kind of way. Let to check out that hole in the wall. I can't remember if those holes actually, like, take you to the next floor or not. I think they might not. They might just, like, give you to... Yeah, yeah it's just a little area. Okay, so I, I just remember to use those immediately when I see them. We reap what we sow. Raspberry liqueur! Oh, okay. A fist becomes weak if it's clenched too long. Huge peak in ice cream. Rowan nibbles half-heartedly at a strawberry cone. <laughs> ah, ice cream. True delight, once reserved only for kings and pharaohs. Now every child tastes it before they're old enough to even know what it is. That's progress! Oh, is that bad? No. Not per se. I just try to cultivate gratitude to appreciate how comfortable my life is. It's smart. I say try because I don't always succeed. It's difficult to be grateful when you lose the people you love. You're silent for a moment, ice cream slowly melting. Thank you for this companion. Thank you for this companionable time together. That is a gratitude I can feel easily. I did not I did not deliver that line well. <laughs> you finish your ice cream to return to the dungeon. Heck yeah. What's in the trash? It's Boba. It's fine. Tear them apart. Ah! Mm, very good. Downstairs, nice. Okay. Is this level six? Yeah, okay. So level seven is the next checkpoint that we have, and we could have started at level seven. And uh yeah. Looks like we made it that entire way without taking any more losses than we would have if we'd started at level seven, so that's pretty cool. Oh, hello. Alright, those gravity walls are actually pretty cool, it seems. Oh, maybe the gravity... Oh, a heavy attack isn't the gravity well. It's like ending a combo with a heavy... In... Okay, I think, I'm... I think I've been doing that wrong this whole time. Interesting. We were what we sell. Business suit. Onyx. Very nice. I want an Onyx business suit. Something really satisfying about like an oasis of peace. Like part of the gameplay loop is like collecting resources and recipes and building just clothes, not like actually anything useful. Just just clothes, and I don't know. I love it. It's great. <laughs> it's like the best way to motivate me in any game. <laughs> Rowan eyes the mat. Rowan eyes the mess. I use the massage chairs uneasily. Mm -hmm. They give a massage, a 
of their own accord. How? They're only chairs. Electricity? No. No, thank you. I've heard plenty about electric chairs, and I do not want to sample one. Not? Okay. You try to explain the difference, but Rowan is gazing into the distance thoughtfully. Hmm. Does this mean even chairs have free will? That they will begin their journey as four-legged fools? <laughs> they chuckle to themselves. As you, can you imagine a chair ascending into the world? That would be something, though. Uh, yeah? Ha 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 ha! Oh? You don't have to humor me, Darcy. But trust me, Lady Freda would have loved it. They're still chuckling as they prepare to re-enter the dungeon. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually been to the massage chairs of anyone else before. Ooh. Bonus five. Alright, let's go. Challenge room! Uh, can I... What? There we go! going on with that combo than I realized. Interesting. Alright. You earned it. Bike helmet recipe. Fine bourbon recipe. Physical world does offer some comforts. Oh, and also money. Wait, where am I going? I guess I just leave the way it came in. That makes sense. We're over time, I've just noticed. Alright, once we're done with the dungeon here, that'll be the end of today. Conflict cannot be avoided here. I'm not avoiding conflict here, believe me. like these. Is that a fact? Well, I'm gonna see what happens if I just leave. I haven't done that before. I'm at level 7, which is at a checkpoint level anyway. Cool. Do you want to leave the dungeon? I do. You breathe a little easier as the door is closed we close behind you. Oh, look at all those vaults. Four hangouts? Heck yeah. Wielder level 12! Wielder level 13! I'm level 13. Fighter. And Rome was only rank one anyway, so it's not surprising that I maxed them out in the one sitting. That makes sense. Cool. Well, that brings us to the end of today. A little bit over time, but that's okay. Had a pretty good time. Um, cool stuff. <laughs> Rowan. Uh, Rowan seems cool. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was growling. Excellent. Um, had a good conversation with Val Valeria, and uh, didn't get to see Jonah, interestingly. I'm still curious what's up with that. But, um, yeah, all in all, game's good. Game is good. Let me look at our crafting table for a second. What are our new recipes? We got vodka, which can be made out of sugar and fabric. Uh, Rampere liqueur, which is sugar and glass. Obviously. Fine bourbon, sugar and glass. Business suit requires plastic and fabric. 
Cool, that's not so bad. I can buy the fabric for that. And then this one needs five fabric and two glue. That's still so expensive. All right, well, we know what we're doing. We know what we'll be doing next time. So I hope you'll join us then, but for now, I've been Darcy Bitch. This has been Boyfriend Dungeon. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the show. Good night, everybody.